Nostalgia is one of the biggest draws of 2B2T, whether it's visiting the ruins of famous old bases or retracing your own first attempts of surviving the chaos, we've all got caught up in the history of the server in one way or another. Now I've gone on my own nostalgia trip recently after realizing I'd hit my two year anniversary on the server. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how obsessing over one of my first screenshots ended with me finding coordinates to my long lost first base and traveling to see if it was still there. Now this journey was a lot of fun and I hope you enjoy taking it with me. I joined the server in October, 2020 when like everyone else, I was being forced to stay at home. It was pretty challenging for me as I only had a week's Minecraft experience. But after a while, I was able to to do the usual thing of escaping spawn, finding gear and building my first base. Now I first played on a tired old laptop but soon upgraded to a custom gaming rig and stupidly I deleted my old Minecraft folder and all my old screenshots and coordinates. The only picture I saved was this one, me at a random 50k milestone. Realising it was almost two years to the day since I placed the sign, I wanted to go and see if it was still there. Now I knew it was possible to search for signs close to spawn but I wanted to do it the old fashioned way and look for it myself. With the help of a handy 50k ring road in the nether and Russia hacks a light fly, it took me only an hour to visit all eight milestones but sadly I couldn't find my sign. Of course it was very likely it had been destroyed but after having found some other 2020 and even 2019 signs I was still curious to see if mine was around. So I asked for information about how you search for signs and was quickly pointed towards the epic 256k mapping project set up by these absolute legends. Now I'd heard about this project before but I hadn't realised there was an easy to use sign search feature with it. I put in my first IGN and bang, there were a bunch of signs by me. I looked around for my 50k sign but it was gone, so it had obviously been destroyed at some point. I had some fun looking at my other signs and then there it was, a sign by me talking about a wheat farm. This had to be my first base that I'd lost coordinates to when changing machines. I'd always wondered where it was and if it was still there. Now it was very close to spawn so I didn't have high hopes, but I arrived in the general area, set off on foot and started recording. In. Now this does seem familiar. I remember a chunk border now. Now I'm walking. This this is this is the exact axis to get. Oh, there's some signs there. Wow. This 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 is going to be it. Furnaces. There's a chest. This could be my first base. I wonder if it's still there. I see a few signs. I see some cobble. Oh, I don't know. I hear running water. Wow, it is still there. This is it. This is my first base on 2B2T. I cannot believe it. This is amazing. I've got no render on the signs, but oh my God, this is it. Wow, I can't believe that. It is still here right on the chunk border. I knew as soon as I started walking down, I was like, I remember a chunk border. And I remember I built this obsidian room. I don't really know why or what it was protecting you from, but... This is it, and I guess someone's been here because the wheat is, uh, it was fully grown when I left. I remember that, I'm pretty sure anyway. And I don't know if these saplings I planted as well, but this is my first base on 2P2T. I cannot believe this is still here. This is absolutely fucking amazing, wow. These days I still enjoy traveling and building around the server, but I do miss those first few days. Having nothing and struggling to survive, it was really difficult, but an amazing experience. Retracing my first steps on the server brought back all those old feelings. And for anyone watching this video, why not look back at your own history on the server as you never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the future.